Yo, what's going on guys? It's Trix here and today is the day for the Q&A. So I picked 10 questions that you guys asked me in my comment section on my last video. And I, I tried to pick the best 10 questions. You know, I, I tried to pick the questions that were the ones that are more popular side of what you guys wanted to know about me and you know, things I use and stuff like that. So hopefully these are good questions. And if they aren't, just comment down below and I'll try to reply to as many other questions that you guys have. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, our first question is, what got you into Arsenal? Like, how did you start? Did your friends get you into it? I think me and my friends were just bored one day. And, you know, we were always grinding Counter-Strike and uh, Call of Duty and whatever other games there are that we were playing. And we were just so bored of all of them that we decided to go on Roblox one day and just try to find, like, you know, a fun game, and an FPS to play. And I think we just looked up a video on the top FPS games on Roblox. And we ended up uh, finding Arsenal. And after that, I think I think I just started getting addicted to it because I felt like naturally I was ready, kind of, you know, good at it. And I just started playing it a lot. What do you use to record and edit? So what I currently use to record is OBS Studio. You guys can download that free. And for my editing, I use Sony Vegas 16 or Vegas Pro 16. I use Premiere Pro. And when I use Vegas 16, that's mainly for like my highlight videos and montages. But if we're talking about content, you know, funny moments and things that I wanna have like captions pop up on the screen, I'd use Premiere for that. What is your sensitivity in DPI and PC specs, mouse, keyboard, mouse bad, etc.? Do you use an aim trainer? If so, which one? So what I currently use for my sensitivity and DPI Pretty sure I'm at a 13 sensitivity inside of Roblox. Um, and then my DPI is set to 400. My PC specs, I can just put up on the screen here. Um, my mouse, I use a Logitech 402, 502. I think it's a 502. And for my keyboard, I use a Logitech Mechanical Pro or something, G Pro. And I'll put all these in the description below. And uh, my mouse pad is a Glorious. And do I use an aim trainer? I do not. I, I think the best aim training is playing the actual game and just naturally getting you know, good at it. Can you show us how to download the textures you are using? So first things first, you want to download the file in the description below. That's going to be my texture pack. Then what you're going to do is, you know, go to your Roblox on your computer, whatever. Um, you go to it, you're going to right click onto it and then right click Roblox game client and then click properties, go to open file location, you're gonna head over to platform content, PC, uh, textures, and then from here, you're gonna copy and paste my whole texture pack inside of here. And after that, this is the most important part because this is what makes you know the game look the way it looks in my videos. So what you do is, in each and every one of these, besides sky and water, you're gonna click inside of it and you're gonna delete everything but diffuse, okay? And you see how it's a dot? You're going to see a full like a uh, square block when you put my uh, texture pack inside of it. So that's going to help you get that dark texture, but look really HD with like RTX vibes almost. And yeah. Shout out to Kian. How long have you been playing FPS games in Arsenal? Did you just figure out how to use your given cam sense along the way? So I've been playing FPS games since I was like a, a toddler, man. Like, I was, I don't even know how old I was, probably like five or six. And whenever Halo came out, um, I had my first Xbox and I, I was just playing Halo every single day after school. You know, my friends would come over and play with me. We'd play the campaign and we would grind it. And then all the way till about 2008, I think, is when Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare came out. I was addicted. And from there, I played Call of Duty all the way, like, you know, until... Counter-Strike came into my life, which was pretty late, like 2016, 2017 is when I got into Counter-Strike and, you know, just PC gaming all around. And for Arsenal, I've only been playing it since I started uploading on this channel, so it hasn't really been that long. I'm sure, you know, I always have a lot of things to learn in this game because I know a lot of you guys are always like, man, you can shoot that gun faster or whatever, you know, but I don't know that because I'm kind of new. But yeah, and then for your other question, the cam sense, it's almost like you just feel comfortable with it. You know, I just keep moving it like either up or down and I just keep feeling for it. Which one's like, like right now, since I do trick shots, I kind of have a high sense where it's not really meant for being such a pro aimer. 
but more of just me getting the last and then being able to do spins and stuff uh for the trick shot but if i was to you know focus on my aim you probably wouldn't see me playing with the sense that i'm on right now who is your favorite content creator other than yourself so honestly i have a lot of content creators that i watch you know i watch you know when it comes to vlogs and stuff i like watching david dobrik uh, if you're talking about gaming videos i'd say uh, i like watching uh phase tico uh fearless fearless is a big inspiration i wish he'd come back upload a lot more his videos you could tell like have uh inspired the way i make my videos and yeah but those are kind of the three main people i kind of watch on youtube or if they're streaming like tico he streams so i go and watch his streams a lot but yeah who were you inspired by to do trick shots i think you guys all know this one um i was inspired by phase clan uh they're literally the start of trick shotting and they inspired a whole fan base of just call of duty and, and whatever games you can trick shot on now i mean they they inspired that they created that what tips do you have for new youtubers okay so tips that i have for new youtubers that you know are trying to you know start a gaming channel whatever it is honestly i'd say be consistent and be just creative i mean that I know it sounds so basic in what everybody says, but it's literally the truth. I mean, if you're consistent, you gotta treat it like anything else. Say you're, you wanna lose weight. In order to do that, you gotta be on a consistent diet or consistent workout. You can't just sit there and then expect, you know, change uh, or progress. Like you're, you're not, you're not gonna get anywhere like that. If you stay consistent and post content and, you know, do it in your own, like your own way and also adapt to what's you know popping now like the way people do their thumbnails the way people are titling you gotta look at all of that you, you can't just use the old youtube ways of like growing your channel you got to be able to put yourself out there like with your personality or you can rely on your gameplay whatever it is um you just got to be consistent and you'll see growth what was your inspiration to start youtube i think my biggest inspiration of uh doing youtube was seeing people on the platform make it into their career and like basically they get to do it for the rest of their life or every day they turn their hobby into a career and they get paid for it they literally get paid to make videos play games stream like i think that's just the end goal because we start to realize like the nine to five is not the way maybe it is for some people but i don't think it's the way and like for me is i want to work at a job that i am interested in but that I love like I don't want to wake up and be like oh my god I don't want to work like especially especially when I got out of high school working temporary jobs you know at fast food and stuff like those were the worst because you would just hate your life you know what I mean so you got to look at it like that if you really want it you're gonna you will do anything to get it that's what I want to try to do and I want to keep growing my channel and see from there why should we subscribe so thank you for this question uh Lambo 13 um, I think this is such a really good question to ask, uh, especially to end it off with. And the reason why I think you guys should subscribe is because I'm going to be making high quality content and I'm not going to be fake. I'm not going to be just like doing it just to get views and whatever. You know what I mean? I'm here to make content for fun. That's literally why I started this channel. Um, I saw that there was an opportunity in this Arsenal community to produce content that you guys would enjoy and that I could possibly grow from. And look what happened in two months, guys. In two months, I'm at 2,000 subscribers. I think if you guys enjoy my videos, at least the videos I've posted so far, and if you're still watching right now, I promise that you guys won't regret subscribing to me and that the content coming is going to be insane.